Yo, what's going on guys, Shinigami here, and uh, yeah, back to more Elden Ring Sekido stuff. Now, unlike the other most recent videos, I'm using my 150 character with the other ones, or the other most recent ones since the DLC dropped, I used my 400, but the ones before that I used this character. Anyways, this is my 150 character, he's dex build, just pure dex, and this is what we're using in terms of, like, equipment, you know, I got mist raven because i absolutely love it still we're using claws of the night just so i can have a ranged option because i don't really have that for this character now i should also explain my setup because i realized i never bothered explaining it now i use this version because i don't feel like doing new game plus to get the other version and it's not really that important i can just use this but as you've noticed by my play styles sometimes i play based on prediction and basically the prediction is if i know that you're gonna sit there and either try to not respect me and just keep mashing I'm going to start mashing because I'm going to hit you before you hit me. And the way this talisman works is as I'm attacking you, I get stronger. My attack boosts with each attack. So I hit you once, nothing happens. I hit you twice, the damage goes up. Hit you a third time, damage goes up. This one, because it raises dexterity and, well, kind of does the same as this one as well. And I'm pretty sure these stack, so... Yeah, if they don't stack, then please tell me, but I'm pretty sure they do. Using this because it enhances guard counter, and obviously Shard of Alexander because it greatly boosts the uh, weapon arts. And obviously I use that for Unsheath. So I can also break down the way I use Unsheath and the way you should also use Unsheath. So when a lot of people are using Unsheath and like Moonveil and stuff like that, they'll start off in this stance as if like, you know, that will actually work. Spoiler alert, it will not, and then this can also be buried as well. Now I'm going to show you the best way of using it, which you've already seen in my videos. Use it to roll catch. Use it defensively. Don't use it to, like, start out a fight. So, you know, as you see how I use it, I might swing once, twice, they'll roll, do that. All you have to do is just really time it right. Now, there's two ways that you can use this. If the person rolls to the side, then it's best to use the light because, you know, obviously the way it swings, it'll catch it. And if they roll like directly behind them, then you can catch them better with this. Now this does track to the side a little, but the side tracking on this version is just simply better than the heavy version. So yeah, that's uh, your education on how to use Unsheath. Not like you asked for it, but whatever. With that out of the way, let's get into the duels. Alrighty, here we go. What on earth am I looking at? Okay, there we go. Now he's very active. Oopsie. Already, you know, I was thinking about something earlier. There's something that Souls games are missing, I like the main series. I might have to hold that thought. Okay. Anyways, what Elden Ring and like Dark Souls, what they were missing the most is Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, Jesus. What they were missing the most is boss rushes. I know Sekiro had it. And of course that catches. Anyways, I'm gonna have to heal too. Lords of the Fallen also had it. And that definitely adds more replayability to the games. And I would absolutely love it because that means I don't have to play through the sword to fight a boss. Especially not doing that in Elden Ring. Jesus Christ. What is this gameplay? But yeah, boss rush would be amazing. I know PC probably has mods for it. We, uh, what is... Whip? Can I parry that? Yes. Nice. Not parry deflect. I mean, kind of no point though. Because I'm this far away. Of course you have to heal. Why not? I can give you a taste of your own medicine, by the way. Love it. I'm expecting to fall here because I don't have much health left. And, uh... Yeah, I have no flask. So... Wow, that actually worked. 
Do I have anything to get the poison away? I don't. Not on this character, at least. So, accept the poison. I mean, what? It's 6 1 if we die? Well, 7 1 now. Because this abysmal gameplay, this Elden Ring gameplay, this Kevin Elden Ring gameplay. This brother does not know anything about the fence. Kinda hoping he just gets this over with. Brother, defend yourself. You Elden Ring players only attack. You do not defend. At, like, at all. Okay, we are actually going to perish in like... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. There we go. Oh, so you're that pathetic. Got it. Insane Elden Ring gameplay, by the way. 30 seconds left. Wow. This is what you decide to do. That actually hit me, wow. Wow. Insane gameplay, actually. 9-1. It's basically 9-0, really. Uh, how many seconds? Probably 15 left. He's got... Ah, oh, Man, I wanted that 10-1. Oh well, we did get some good parries in. I didn't want to parry Rivers, because if I like, tried and then died, I didn't want to give him like, <clears throat> a confidence boost, so, none of that. <clears throat> Is that a spear? Or yeah, those are spears. Spear and staff. Maybe that's a harpoon? Looks familiar. All right. Dual wield spears. I kind of want to go for a parry or deflect. I keep saying parry. There we go. I'm a little nervous because the second hit. There we go. There we go. Just delayed a little. I think I've read him enough to be comfortable to move in, I want to say. There we go. I'm just trying to, like, be careful of any nonsense that he may have in his inventory. That- Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. I tried to, uh, deflect that. So, I know you can't block that attack. And you also can't deflect it. That's a good counter. Alright, I know this now. So he has that on the spear. Good lord. There we go. I'm gonna heal up. We're not getting many deflects tonight. Well, I do have a nice little clip. A few nice little clips. So we can- what is that? Moonveil? Wow. Compelling katana gameplay, I guess. I'm very, like, harsh on katana users. If you, like, pull out a katana and it's like Moonvale, Rivers, or Nakakiba, then I just simply don't respect you. Brother. Brother. You gotta you gotta let something go, my guy. One of those spears or something? I don't know, but uh that ain't working, my brother. Let's try Mist Raven on him. Can I Mist Raven anything? Yeah, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that, because uh, I think you need that, so... Yeah. Ah. Uh. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm pulling this out, because with the unsheathed katana I have, because, um... I kind of don't want to make a mistake here. And then I make a mistake. No matter what game I play, 
and I say I never want to make a mistake or I need to be careful, I end up making a mistake and like exploding. Insane. There we go, there we go, money. The timing for the Getsuga Tensho from Moonlight Greatsword is really throwing me off. No one ever usually throws it at me. Come on, give me some of the deflect. There we go. Wait, he just bounced off the sword. That's cool. I never knew that was a thing. <laughs> Good fight. I've never seen that until tonight. Okay, let me share these clips and then I'm getting off and going to bed. Okay, this one is just way too clean. It's just way too clean. The way I used... What the hell? I forgot all about the lag. The way I used Mist Raven into the deflect. Also clean. I shouldn't have spoiled it, but... You just gotta look at it, folks. You just gotta look at it. What? Oh, into the Ichimonji. Beautiful. I've been thinking about what else I can add to this uh, gameplay style. I might do some, like, more samurai stuff. Like, put on the samurai armor or something. I don't know. There's a lot that I can do here. There's really a lot that I can do, like unlimited possibilities. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do. That one was even smoother. Oh my goodness. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to get in contact with me, I got links to my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Discord in the description below. In the Discord, we got the Cries for Help section in case you guys are going through something and need someone to talk to. We got the Drip section in case you guys want to show off your best outfits. And we even have the Looking Group section in case you guys want some people to play with. But uh, yeah, embrace your dreams and protect your honor. Shinigami out, y'all.